Faraz Obama have addressed SAS students as they received their Associate in Arts degree from Miami Dade College a full month before their high school graduation ceremony. It is such a thrill to be at one of the largest, most diverse institutions of higher learning in America. One that just this week was named one of the top community colleges in the nation. 90% of the students in the SAS class of 2013 will accomplish that same amazing achievement. They will get their AA degrees a month before they graduate from high school. We told you how one South Florida high school was honored as the number six school in the entire country by Newsweek Magazine. Newsweek Magazine just put out its list of the top schools in the nation. And after evaluating over 2,500 schools, the school for advanced studies jumped from number 12 to number 6.
the GPAs that each one of you carries, your college plans, what you've accomplished already in terms of post-secondary training while still in high school amazes me. The fact that your school, SAS, is one of the best schools in the country is amazing to all of us. So I need now, I need not play up to you in terms of your accomplishments. I will leave you rather with some thoughts. Everybody's talked about the folks who have brought you here and this journey of yours, which ends today. You walked into it by yourselves, on your own legs, with your own charisma, with your own courage, you came here yourselves. But I know it's not forgotten to you that part of the journey you were carrying from the very first moment you opened your eyes, somebody was there to love you, to hug you, to teach you, to inspire you, to mold you, to fashion you into the perfect beings you are today. Those people, no doubt, are your parents, your fathers, mothers, uncles and aunts, even abuelita, and no doubt the most remarkable freedom fighters of our generation. Those who are so often across our country today, unappreciated for the miracles they perform every single day. I am speaking of my colleagues, the ones I respect and revere the most, our teachers, Miami Dade's teachers. Lastly, in as much as a lot of people write books and talk about the fact that the better days of America are already behind us, that the best generations our country had have already lived and are behind us, I think they're wrong. I think that uh, by choice, not by chance, we have a perfect opportunity to recreate the great America that we believe in. It will take your reinvention, your re-innovation, your rewriting of your current history to ensure that our America, our country, regardless of where you came from, whether you speak Spanish or Haitian Creole, whether you were born here or in Cuba, Venezuela or Colombia, you are the power, the fuel that will put this country back on the map. It is going to be your courage, your instinct, your intellect that will put this country on the map again. I choose not to accept that all of the great things of our nation have already been accomplished. You shall be the generation that will find a cure for cancer. I was impressed with how many of you are going to go into medicine. I'm also impressed about how many of you are going to go into engineering. You shall be the generation that will build indestructible homes in Oklahoma and Haiti alike. You shall be the generation that will fertilize the deserts of our world. You shall be the generation that will end segregation, poverty, and abuse. All of those things you shall do. As you do so, however, in closing, I want you to pace yourselves. As the greatest philosopher that ever lived, a bit young, but extremely wise, once said, his name was Ferris Bueller. <laughs> Ferris said that, you know, life passes you by very quickly. If you, if you do not take time to pause and look around, you may just miss it. Do not miss a single minute, a single hour, a single day of your great lives. Make every moment count towards a greatness, a personal greatness, the greatness of your families, the greatness of your communities, the greatness of our country. And if you do that, I guarantee you, you shall be, by choice, not by chance, the greatest generation of Americans. God bless you. Congratulations. No,